custodians beg for their lives as gunmen attack checkpoints, leaving many lives dead. It has come to people's notice that to live and survive in Nigeria only takes the grace of God, consider the bad things happening across the whole nation. For the past few months, Nigerians have been going through a lot in the hands of gunmen, Boko people and the likes. Many people have lost their loved ones in the hands of this bad group or sect, and everything this bad sect does has been causing a great opera in the society, making people scared of what might happen to them in the next minute. All they love to do are to attack people, kill, destroy things, and all that initially people think as this month began, things will change. But the reverse is the case, as the situation now moves from worst to worst. On my occasion, and also in many occasions, this sect of gunmen have struck numerous times, and the result of these strikes is always bloody, and times claim people's lives. Today, it happens again. As some certain gunmen attacked a prison in Oweri, they burnt down many things there and the prison also destroyed and escaped inmates. And remember the ones that happened yesterday as another sect of gunmen attacked soldiers at a checkpoint in Oweri to Onicha Road. There was a rain of bullets and the gunmen set things ablaze. But the funny thing is that the Nigerian policemen and soldiers took to their heels when this government launched the attack. According to Sahara reporters, one of the policemen revealed that the government threw explosives at them of which they can't resist. Thank you for listening to this news. Look at the statement. The true explosives at at us, so we cannot resist it. You that is going for such an assignment, you are supposed to get yourself set and equipped. This is the problem with our Nigerian military. Our Nigerian military are just like those farmers that goes to farm without a cutlass. How can you be going to 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 an assignment of that sort and you can and you won't go with 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 your weapons, even if it is an ordinary office you are going as a as a military man? Know it that as a military man you are exposed to crisis, you are exposed to attack. The very day you are inaugurated and given a gun to go out and function, that very day. You became an enemy of the country because the country don't like military men. They don't like military men. They see military men to be enemies. To be enemies. Yes. When they see a military man, they feel that he is coming to attack them. So that moment you see yourself to be uh, an enemy of the country. So don't even say that you are going for such an assignment. Okay, you are going on patrol and you, you did not go out with your weapons. Look at the statement. They threw explosive at us. That is why we took to our ears. Is that not disgraceful? A statement coming from a Nigerian police. With the Nigerian army or, sorry, with the American soldiers or American FBI say such a word. You see? No wonder they are always afraid, very, very afraid the moment they discover the hoodlums, the gunmen, the headsmen, they, 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 they will leave the station immediately, only to come back when the station has been set in place and start telling all sorts of lies that they try to apprehend them. <laughs> oh, our Nigerian government and uh, military will not stop lying. They will never stop lying.
You see that? And that is very bad. Absolutely bad. Looking at all that has been happening, yet we have refused to change. We have refused to turn a new leaf. And it's very, very bad. Absolutely wrong. So, my dear viewers, let us call a spade a spade. Our military are not up and doing anymore. They are gradually losing their value. Look at now. In the southeast, if anyone, if anybody is attacked, instead of calling the Nigerian military, they call Eastern Security Network. Why? Because our Nigerian police has made themselves to be weaklies and liars. They believe that calling the Nigerian police could be a waste of time because they will place you on a waiting call. You see that? And that is true. It's not a lie. That's the humble truth. I'm telling you the truth. So, my dear viewers, we just have to help ourselves. We just have to help ourselves. That's just the humble truth. And the earlier we do that, the better for us because things are not are not getting easy anymore okay so um, with all that has just been taking place and observed what do you think what do you think and what is your own observation you have to speak up oh, because you can see the lamentation in uh, um, the lamentation of the people. You can see how the people are crying and voicing and pleading for intervention. That is to tell you that it is not easy. All right. So whatsoever it is, come in and air your own opinion. Let's hear your voice. Let's know what you have in mind to say. Let's know what you have in mind to contribute. What's your own idea concerning all this that has been happening in our country? All right. So please and please and please, don't forget to leave your comments below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.